What is up, guys? Jason Lore here with Jason Lore Photography and Film, and we are here at McKinley Park in Sacramento, California. Uh, gonna take a little walk today uh, in this uh, episode of Weekend Walks with yours truly. So, um, actually, before I start, uh, real quick, so this is the Rose Garden in McKinley Park. Uh, right now, it's not too much because of. Uh, you know the winter weather but right around spring and summer this place was usually lit up with like different colors of roses and um i was actually here uh earlier this year doing a uh maternity photo shoot for one of my friends at work uh him and his uh, wife uh ended up having twins which by the way if you guys are watching congratulations and you know it's a really great place for photography but today the subject is going to be on film festivals so um this is something i wanted to talk about because the film festival was a really g big uh, game changer for um you know my journey into you know becoming a screenwriter and you know a filmmaker so um you know this pretty much started like right around like uh what 2010 after i um, after I graduated from SF State um, with my bachelor's degree in cinema, and I came to learn that it's a really tough industry to get into, film industry, that is. And, you know, I thought, like, you know, with a degree, I was going to get in right away. But, you know, it's definitely one of those businesses where you really do have to know someone or be well known to even, um, you know, make it in. So, um, I tried submitting a lot of my scripts, actually a couple of my scripts at that time, um, to some production companies in, um, uh, in, uh, Los Angeles, and then I even tried a crack at, um, like the, uh, literary agencies, but, you know, I never got anything back. I never got no response or anything like that, and, you know, my professor, um, from uh, San Francisco State was telling me that chances are they may not have even read your script yet, or chances are they read it but they didn't like it. But it's not their responsibility to tell you that you know your script didn't make it. So you're just still left wondering if they even got to your script yet. So you know, right around 2013, I had to look elsewhere when I came to that realization, and that was the film festival. Um, apparently, I never realized this at that time, but Sacramento has a international film festival here. And so, you know, it never occurred to me about that, but, um, I told myself, you know, let's, let's give that a go. I mean, I know, um, at that time, um, I had my niece and my nephew, and they were definitely, uh into filmmaking mainly because you know I was you know shooting a lot of videos and a lot of uh, photography at that time was my uh, my DSLR so we decided hey you know what let's make a little short movie and let's try and get it into the festival and so uh, we put together a movie called uh, the short no sorry the uh, recorder and so that took like at least four days to make but we got it done and we got to the film festival Surprisingly enough, we got selected. We didn't win, but you know what? It was just awesome. Like we had the they had the film festival in Sacramento, and um, they were screening it in front of a bunch of people. They watched it. They liked it. Uh, we had like a Q and A panel too, to where you know people were asking us questions about like our film, how we did it, and what we did it with. And you know what? It was a great. Uh, great way of like you know publicizing like your work and again um you know the great thing about it is that people will start to see who you are and what you do and you know for me it was a filmmaker a writer and even an editor and a cameraman which if you guys look at the end credit of that short film pretty much i did all of it and you know of course with the help of my niece and nephews who put up a great performance so it's like, you know, that's what I got out of it. It was a great way of networking with people and 
putting yourself out there. So, um, unfortunately, when I got a new job, which is the current job that I'm at right now, it was pretty, pretty hard because, you know, the first few years, um, you're always getting switched up to a different schedule. And, you know, I didn't know where the heck I was going to go next. So, that, so all I know is it interfered with, like, just my filmmaking, my writing, and even my photography. So eventually, right around 2019, when I was able to secure a job, oh, no, I'm sorry, not secure a job, but secure a position in my current job to where I can finally do some more writing. Filmmaking is still a little bit iffy because, you know, it's hard to find filmmakers, I'm oh, sorry, not filmmakers, but actors who want to be in your films. And also, you know, just the time to do it because, you know, with uh, the job I had at that time when we made the recorder, you know, my hours were flexible. But this one, it's like, it's not flexible. So it's like, all I can do is write, which is fine with me because if you all know me, Writing is always going to be my passion, my way of life, and I'll continue to do that until I no longer can. And so I wrote scripts, and, you know, um, I came across this website called Film Freeway, and basically it's like a giant phone book of, like, just all the film festivals that are out there in the world. So, you know, I entered a... Uh, a film festival uh, called the uh, Los Angeles Film Awards. I uh, entered my uh, my screenplay, The Fourth Prince, and you know it won. Uh, it got a uh, best. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, well, yeah, I got an award for a uh, you know honorable mention. You know, I got a certificate for it too, and I was like, just whoa, it's just stoked. It's like, wow, you know, I think I'm onto something here. You know, and plus the beauty of these film festivals, and it's not all the film festivals, but a lot of film festivals, they have different categories. Other than films, both short and features, they have screenplay, best screenplays, uh, best music, best uh, movie poster, best movie trailer. So all these different types of categories, and there's more out there too. I couldn't list all of it, but I, I could go on and on forever. But when you check out Film Freeway, and I actually did a video about Film Freeway too, which you can check out on my page or on my YouTube channel. But pretty much, yeah, there's like so much for everybody. You know, it's like just absolutely nuts how much the film festival has to offer for all, all of us filmmakers out there. So this is why I always tell people, look at the film festivals. Because the cool thing about it too, is that you never know who you're gonna meet there. And you know what, in fact, that's a thing too, it was like uh, at the end of 2019, you know, um, I was able to attend two uh, film festivals. Uh, one was the uh, Las Vegas International Film and Screenplay Competition. Um, the other one is uh, the Oregon uh, Scream Week Film Festival up in Portland, Oregon. Flew up to those places, got to meet some really great filmmakers. So filmmakers like writers, producers, directors, and editors, and um, musicians who were all responsible for making these uh, these films. And you know, that's another thing too is like, People think that a lot of these filmmakers are running around with camcorders. No, they're running around with DSLRs. And if you guys don't know DSLRs, they're basically like, you know, uh, they, they, they're they pretty much photography cameras, but photography cameras now, they have the video features where they can shoot 24 frames per second to look like uh, an actual, uh, you know, an actual uh, film. But you look at all these, these films that they show at the film festivals, both the Los Angeles, I'm sorry, the Las Vegas and the Portland, Oregon film festivals, dude, they were top notch. And you know what? I'm actually amazed how these guys put their creative minds to creating something this, this awesome. And, you know, I got to chat with, you know, a few of them that were there. There's a lot of people that I can only get around to, but no, I got to chat with a few of them, and dude, they had some really awesome ideas. They had some really great techniques of making 
all those uh, films happen. And, you know, I just got to give a shout out too to, uh, you know, the, you know, the host of the festivals. Like, so we got uh, Michael Fair and his team up in Oregon who've uh, put together the uh, Scream Week as well as like other uh, film festivals in Oregon and Texas, which I was supposed to attend last year in 2020, but of course COVID hit. So that kind of ruined everything. And then same thing with uh, the Las Vegas uh, Film and Screenplay Awards or a competition. Uh, that one's run by both uh, Annette and Warren Paul, who are really awesome people. And you know, the cool thing is that they're all three of them, uh, Michael, Annette, and Warren, they're all filmmakers. You know, they decided, you know what, let's get, to, uh, let's put together a, a film festival to bring in all these, you know, talented filmmakers from around the world to showcase their talent and, you know, provide them a platform to showcase, you know, their work. And you know what, they did exactly just that because a lot of the filmmakers that I saw at the film festivals, a lot of them are from the states and some of them are actually from out of the states so again you never know who you're gonna meet there and another thing I have to point out too is like just because they're not Hollywood you know filmmakers doesn't mean that they don't have no talent it's like that's what baffles me a lot about you know people who say that is like dude these guys really put together some great work all because you know they were really good with the camera they were good with like editing lighting and uh, audio and music all those people came together to put all those films together so the beauty of like beating people like that is now say if you know if you're a writer right you're good at writing but then you may not be good at the editing or directing so that's why you go to the festivals and you connect and connect with a director and an editor who can help fill in those positions. Directors would do that too. It's like they can, they're good at directing, but then they're not good with writing or editing. So that's why when they're there, it's like, hey, you got a good idea for a script or a film? Hey, shoot it my way. Hey, you're great at editing? Can you help me edit this film? I'm gonna send you all the the footages, and if you can do it the way I like it, then shoot, you're hired. So again, shoot, it's just all about networking and connecting. So if you know how to to you know use that to your advantage, then the film festivals is definitely the way for you. So, um, and a lot of the entry fees, it's like a lot of them are are affordable like there's one festival that I you know attended and it was only like 25 bucks it was only 25 bucks to enter and I ended up getting selected and I even won so it's like again just taking that chance and also just because I love you know filmmaking I love writing and you know being part of that process and you know I think like just getting involved with the film festivals was like by far the best decision I make and for those of you guys who are looking to showcase your work and your talent this is definitely the place for you so whether you're doing music doing uh, you know uh, audio or lighting hey even movie posters I tell people, it's like, hey, you know what, movie posters? You're a graphics designer? Hey, you want to design movie posters for our film industries? Hey, film festivals, man. All right. But otherwise, hey, like I said, best decision I've made, and it's definitely worth trying if you guys haven't done so. And with that, that's it for this uh, walk and also this episode. So I hope you guys found that helpful, and I hope you guys would consider that. Check out filmfreeway.com. Check out all the festivals that are out there. Hey, you never know. There might be a film festival in your town, and you never knew about it this whole time. But anyways, um, definitely uh, check out more of my work on my social media network, or check me out on YouTube. And uh, you know, if you haven't done so either, definitely 
appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and get more updates of my uh, videos, projects, or events that I'll be, you know, be involved in, in the future. But until then, this is Jason Lore with Jason Lore Photography and Films, bringing you art, stories, and entertainment.